It is the year Cosmic Era 73. After the horrific Break the World incident, the Naturals and Coordinators would end up engaging in various counterattacks all over the world, thus beginning the second war between the Earth Alliance and Plants. The story of Stargazer primarily follows two characters, Selene McGriff, a coordinator working as an engineer for the Deep Space Survey and Development Organization's Stargazer Project, and Suvin Kao Bayang, a Natural who is a member of the Earth Alliance's Phantom Pain Force. While Suvin fights his way through the war piloting the Strike Noir, Selene would escape the battlefield and focus on aiding with the development of the Stargazer Gundam, an experimental civilian mobile suit designed for space exploration, though the Earth Alliance would have other plans for the prototype Gundam. Stargazer was originally an original net animation, or ONA for short, that streamed on the Bandai channel back in 2006 and only ran for 3 episodes. Since each episode was only 15 minutes long, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but I was pleasantly surprised with the story. It takes an even darker tone than either Cedar Sea Destiny, it was fast paced, and I never felt a sense of boredom. The first episode alone handles the devastating effects of the colony drop far better than Sea Destiny ever did, and the series also has no problem killing off certain characters in rather gruesome ways. Speaking of the characters, they were pretty underdeveloped and are basically there to progress the plot and not much else, but at least none of them are as insufferable as the main cast in the Seed shows. The only exception would probably be Suven, as they actually gave him a tragic backstory. It's not much, but at least it's something. Stargazer also features a few cameo appearances of Azrael from Seed as well as the Extendeds and Neo from Seed Destiny. Though they are very brief, and those are the only cameos you see. You don't see Kira, you don't see Lacus, Shin, Atherin, or anybody else. And thank god for that. That's basically all I really have to say when it comes to the story and characters, because quite frankly the biggest flaw Stargazer has is that it's just way too short for its own good. Had the series been given a longer run time, or more episodes, it would have probably ironed out the issues or at the very least make those issues not as obvious. As it is though, it was actually kind of decent and shows off the potential seed and seed destiny could have had if the writing staff was more competent. The visuals for Stargazer are really good. The setting is darker and grittier in comparison to the colorful world we saw in the main shows, and the characters actually look distinct from each other. This is due to the fact that the character designs were actually done by Onuki Kenichi not Harai Hisashi, and I gotta say, he does a great job on making the characters look diverse while having them still fit in with the world of Seed. The mech designs are pretty sweet too. The Strike Noir is badass, I like the Verd Buster better than the original, and as much as I dig the Blue Duel, it had an abysmal on-screen battle. The Stargazer itself is a rather unique Gundam. Unlike most Gundams which were designed for combat, Stargazer was designed purely for exploring in space, and the Watcher Lumiere system it utilizes is really fascinating and makes far more sense here compared to the bullshit given to the Destiny Gundam. The battles, while brief, are entertaining and downright brutal at times, and the animation is mostly smooth with no stock footage to speak of. All in all, despite the short length, Stargazer managed to feel more like a high quality production than the main shows did. The soundtrack was decent. I don't think it's as good as the songs found in Seed or Seed Destiny, but it gets the job done. Not much else to really say here except that I really love the ending theme of Episode 3, Hoshi no Tobira. The voice acting is top notch and features some noticeable seiyus. Daisuke Ono voices Suvin, and he would go on to play the role of Jotaro Kujo in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Stardust Crusader. Selene is voiced by Sayaka Ohara, who is mostly known for her role as Urza in Fairy Tale, and we even have Mr. Lelouch himself, Jun Fukuyama, voicing Soul. All in all, Stargazer has a very solid cast. I know this review is shorter than usual, 
but that's because Stargazer itself is a very short series. The characters aren't all that special as far as side stories go, but I did enjoy the overall story and the presentation and music were pretty good. So why did I decide to review it? Well, it's mainly because I feel that Stargazer hits a lot of sweet spots for me, which is something Seed and Seed Destiny never really did. For that reason, I can honestly recommend this ONA to people who felt disgruntled by the quality of the Seed shows. And hell, you can probably go further and try other side stories like the Astray series. The Seed duology may have a bad reputation among many Gundam fans, but there was some really good stuff that came out of them. And Gundam Seed Stargazer is a prime example of the good things that the Cosmic Era shows could have offered. Final score, 6 out of 10.